Hello dear friends, today I am going to share with you interesting facts regarding aspirin. The drug which has been continuously in use since last 125 years. It is one of the biggest pharmaceutical success stories of all time. Aspirin was the first discovered member of an evolutionary class of drugs known as nonsteroidal anti-inflammatory and one of the most widely used medications in the world. Aspirin made the 1950 Guinness Book of Records as the world's most popular pain-killing drug. Study on aspirin's mechanism of action lead to award of Nobel Prize to Professor John Bain in year 1982. Like, share and subscribe the channel for more video regarding pharmacology. From the willow tree extracts to the synthetic acetylsalicylic acid, aspirin traced a long journey in pharmaceutical history. The story of the discovery of aspirin stretches back more than 4,000 years. Sumerians and Babylonians were the first civilization to provide pain treatment. 4,000 years ago they used willow tree bark and leaf extract to treat fever, pain and inflammation. The willow tree bark and leaves are also mentioned in ancient Egyptian scriptures of Ebers Papyrus 1500 BC. The father of medicine Hippocrates recommended a brew from the bark to treat ophthalmic pain and palliate the pain during labor. In ancient Greece the willow tree was well known for its medical applications. Aristotle Theophrastus and Dioscorides used it for the treatment of nail diseases and callosities. Roman physicians knew all about the tea from the willow tree's bowl and Roman legions always carried vast stocks of it as it was used mainly as a pain killer. In 1828 Professor Johann Buckner first refined active ingredient from willow bark and named it salicin. After salix, the genus of the willow tree. The process was further refined by Pierre Joseph and Raphael Piria produced a stronger compound from the crystals isolated from willow bark, which is named as salicylic acid. Despite the clear antipyretic benefits of salicin, it was not taken up more widely due to complications with gastritis. In 1852, the French chemist, Charles Gerhardt was the first to modify salicylic acid with the introduction of an acetyl group in place of a hydroxyl group, but the compound was not stable. Gerhardt has one of the first true claims to be the person to discover aspirin but the lack of stability of his newly derived compound stopped him from developing it further. Acetylation of salicylic acid later proved to be the key step in reducing its irritant properties. In 1863, Bayer was founded in Germany as a dye manufacturing company under the name Friedrich Bayer & Co., but the founders soon tried to advance the research on acetylsalicylic acid. In 1897, Felix Hoffmann, a young chemist, was hired to work in Bayer's medical lab synthesized the first sample of acetylsalicylic acid, soon to be known as aspirin. He tested it on his own father for the relief of rheumatic pain. Heinrich Dresser, chief of the pharmacological division for testing drugs, was not positive about the new substance as he thought it was just a bitter-tasting salicylic acid unworthy of production. Carl Duisberg, head of Bayer Research, gave the drug to external pharmacologists and physicians to be tested. The test was a success and Bayer's chemist, Arthur Eichengrun, even tested it on himself. Within three years of its release onto the market, more than 160 scientific papers had been published extolling the virtues of aspirin. It went on to become enormously successful around the world. The aspirin use was associated with gastritis and development of new analgesic agents without these side effects, such as paracetamol in 1956 and ibuprofen in 1962, further dented aspirin's popularity. In 1962, Aspirin was associated with Ray syndrome in children. Over the following years, there was mounting evidence for this association and aspirin is no longer recommended for anyone under the age of 16 year. In 1971 John Bain, professor of pharmacology at the University of London, 
publishes research describing aspirin's mechanism of action, dose-dependent inhibition of prostaglandin synthesis. He later wins a Nobel Prize, 1982, for this work, along with Bengt Samuelsson and Soon Bergström. In 1974 first randomized controlled trial of aspirin in the secondary prevention of death from heart attack show a reduction in total mortality of 12% at 6 months and 25% at 12 months but the results are statistically inconclusive. In 1988, the use of aspirin was extended from a palliative to a life-saving drug. The FDA suggested that it reduces the risk of myocardial infarction, protects from unstable angina pectoris and is suitable for patients who have already suffered from an infarct. The FDA also approved its use to prevent or to improve damage of ischemic cerebral attack. Results of the HOT Hypertension Optimal Treatment Trial of 1998 show that aspirin significantly reduces major cardiovascular events in hypertensive patients, with the greatest benefits seen in preventing heart attacks. WHS, Women's Health Study, a large, primary prevention trial among women, suggests that aspirin lowers the risk of stroke. Evidence also suggests that aspirin also act as a chemoprotective agent may reduce overall cancer incidence and mortality in colorectal, esophageal and gastric cancers, with smaller effects on prostate, breast, and lung cancer. Overall, despite aspirin being more than a century old, it continues to occupy a prominent place in the treatment of cardiovascular disease and there are no clear signs at present of it being displaced in the near future. There is, however, inter-individual variation in the response to aspirin, leading some to speculate on the existence of aspirin resistance. Like, share and subscribe the channel for more video regarding pharmacology.